Uh, but there is huge news that just came out uh, on crypto. Something, again, that's a fundamental change I think people need to understand. When I say that, it means it's something that's structural that's going to be – that's going to change the industry uh, forever and, and, and make it this you know huge asset that you could really buy where it's not this boom and bust asset. So it's not really being reported, definitely not on CNBC and Bloomberg and stuff like that. It is being reported on crypto outlets. Uh, but FASB, right, just announced it's going to change the accounting rules for Bitcoin, for companies that hold it on the balance sheets. Now, if you're not familiar with FASB accounting rules, I'm not going to bore you to death, but here's what you need to know. Okay, and again, not going to go crazy into numbers here. But if you care about Bitcoin, this is significant. So the SEC recognized FASB as the official accounting rule maker for U.S. public companies. And if companies do not follow those rules, gap rules. Uh, they're out of compliance, and no respectable accounting firm will ever certify their financial assets as being correct. So it's a big deal. Now, Bitcoin was treated by FASB as an intangible asset. So it's like a patent, a copyright, trademark, right? So say if you buy a million dollars worth of Bitcoin, if it increases by 100%, you always have to recognize the value as a million dollars forever, as if it was a million dollars, even if it's right. worth $20 million, $60 million, $80 million. However, what's even worse is if it falls. If it falls 50% to say 500000 now you have to recognize the 500,000 value. And even if it goes from the 500 value back to the million or even the 20 million, the worth of it, you always have to recognize that lowest value. So you can only report as an asset worth 500,000, making it tough for a lot of companies to hold Bitcoin because it results in, in you know, I'll cover this even more, more depth in a second, but it results in these adjustments, impairments, and these losses, which are a pain in the ass. And also, you know, for the bigger picture, it, it, just reporting and saying your earnings are down so many quarters. This is what you saw with, with MicroStrategy, where people know the value of the Bitcoin that's on it. But now it's going to provide more transparency. So going forward, FASB is going to recognize Bitcoin as a tangible asset, just like it was an investment as stock. This rule prevented companies from even thinking about putting this, right? Using that cash and putting and diversifying into Bitcoin or crypto. And I know it's volatile, but if... You have Microsoft and Apple, right? And, and, and you, know, you have $200 billion, and I think the other one has $100 billion in cash. And the Fed is constantly destroying the purchasing power of the dollar, right? And, and, and they're doing that, right, by printing. Does it make sense to have a 2%, 3%, 5% allocation of Bitcoin? I really think it does. And this, this makes it a lot easier and more transparent without being like, ah, you know, I don't even want to do it because all the accounting bullshit. Yeah. So I want to put some numbers behind this really quick. I don't want to bore you, I promise. But this is something you need to understand. There's about two and a half trillion in cash on balance sheets right now. Now you have an opportunity for some of this cash to go into Bitcoin or crypto. So say if it's, we'll be modest at 3%. That amounts to 75 billion of new capital coming into Bitcoin, right? And Bitcoin has $800 billion total market cap. It takes a little bit higher than that if today. You also have close to 6 trillion, 5.7 trillion sitting in money market funds. Now they could put that into Bitcoin with new ETFs coming. Right at just three percent, you could see one hundred seventy billion. Right, I'm just throwing numbers at three percent. Maybe it's one percent. Maybe it's five percent. Now you have twenty trillion plus when you're looking at the Bitcoin the ETFs coming. When you have BlackRock, Franklin Templeton, Invesco, Fidelity. Right. So, so now four one Ks for the first time are going to have access to Bitcoin. Right. To select Bitcoin as a choice in your four one K, and you know, along with a small cap fund, an international fund, a bond fund, S and P five hundred fund, you can say, okay, you know what, I want a little allocation, ten percent allocation, five percent allocation, whatever it is, to Bitcoin, which is really the younger generation. That's what they want. That's what they choose over gold. If you just add those up, that's six hundred billion dollars on a conservative basis. I think is three percent. I think that's pretty conservative. And say that happens over the next 24 months, right? I'm not going crazy. And if it's not, even if it's $300 billion or $400 billion, it's significant. <laughs> so, it is, yeah. I mean, Bitcoin is increasing. It's, it's, more than, it's almost doubling their total addressable market. But here's the kicker, and I feel like, I hate saying when people don't understand it because maybe you do, but I didn't really <laughs> understand it until I go over the numbers. That's why I hope I'm not born a shit out of you. This is important. If, you, if, if you're believing Bitcoin, if you're believing crypto, this is why this is significant. Over 70% of Bitcoin is held by long-term holders, right? These are like Warren Buffett people that, that don't want to sell forever. So that leaves, if you're looking at the float of 19 million, at least f only 5 million Bitcoin that's really floating around. So that's worth $215 billion at 5 million. And you're going to see 600 billion on a conservative basis come in 
I, I want to I want you to understand what that means. I mean, we could see a pop of a hundred, a hundred fifty thousand, two hundred thousand dollars in Bitcoin if this happens. If the B, if the Bitcoin approvals are there, if we see more and more people, these are fundamental changes that are increasing the total addressable market. This isn't like, hey, you should buy Bitcoin because of gold, and I really like it. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be this. I think it's gonna be that. This is now trillions, tens of trillions, and tens of millions of people having access to Bitcoin for the first time. 